transportation is a very operational field. Somebody actually has to decide when you send snow plows out or if you're going to close state government because a snowstorm is going to be bad enough. So honestly, when I interviewed for the job, I didn't mention uh, Sabbath observance uh, until after I had the job. Um, which is funny because I started work in January of 2015 and within a couple weeks we had four blizzards in a four week period. We got over 100 inches of snow and actually it never went above freezing so the snow didn't melt. We had a huge crisis. The transit system stopped working. None of the storms involved Shabbat. It was just amazing. You're sort of always the transportation secretary. You bump into people on the street, you bump into people on the subway, you bump into people in the grocery store. They all have an opinion because transportation is one of those things every every single person uses it every day and they are all experts. Um, and I love that about it, but it also means it's next to impossible to get away from it. And so one of the things that I love about Shabbat is it's that time for family and friends. Sometimes people at Shul will call me secretary, like to be respectful, and I'll be like, no, no, here I'm Stephanie because it's the only time I'm Stephanie anymore. I very rarely put myself in a professional situation on Shabbat, but it does happen sometimes. And right after we had all these winter-related crises in 2015, I was asked to go to a session with a group of leaders and I talked to them so I could make sure that I could follow the rules. And it happened to be that the Parsha was parting of the sea. And I have a weird history with stories that have to do with Nachshon ben Aminadab, who's the guy who like walks into the sea and then the sea parts and it's all about this issue of people have to play their own role in helping God even when God is willing to make miracles for us. And so I'd been asked to give this talk on the transit system and what could all the assembled leaders and business leaders do to kind of help the transit system. So I ended up giving almost like a drosh where I actually talked about Nakshon Ben Aminadab and I, and I sort of ended by saying, I feel like I'm in the water up to my shoulders and I hope you guys are gonna follow me. It led to a great conversation. Then after Shabbat, when I checked in with the governor's chief of staff, he was like, why were you talking about Nakshon Ben Aminadab? And the governor's chief of staff happened to be Jewish. Word had spread very quickly because it was relatively new. And that's actually a lot of the people uh, in leadership roles in the state, that's actually kind of when they found out that I was uh, observant.